Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be talking about a coin that probably you've not really heard of because I've not spoken about it for a while. If you're new to the channel and you would like to learn more, hit that subscribe button and obviously press that bell button. Expire. I spoke about this in the past. I spoke about it in 2008. I spoke about it at the start of this year. We're going to talk about it again. These guys have been incredibly busy. A lot of things are happening and it's a project I really do like the look of. I'm going to explain a bit more about it. See you in a second. Right then, so let's get going. I'm not going to go full balls deep into this, I will be honest, because I've already spoken about it, but I will do other videos on this. I'm going to do a series of videos basically outlining what they're doing so you know people can get it without listening to me for 40 odd hours because it is a lot of things that they are doing so i wanted to give you a quick overview and then i'm going to go through some of the stuff that they have been doing over the recent weeks and kind of where they're going essentially because it's pretty cool now it is an adoptable blockchain infrastructure based around the financial world essentially there's a lot of interesting cool stuff on their website so please do check it out go on expire.io um the token abbreviation that is but the bin on cnbc is a featured program by ted danson you can see here if you've watched the good place check it out it's a really good little tv series on netflix if you're looking for something to kill time with but it is a really solid element of a project which has the genuine use of a blockchain with a token rare to see really is rare to see you see all these blockchains and like yeah cool but you see a token with it, it's like, well, what's that for? You know, this has a genuine purpose. And I'm going to go through why I really rate it and why over longer periods of time, scarcity and the burning feature to keep costs down will make it quite a good little investment opportunity if you believe in the project. You're actually investing in something that is a part of the project, one of the heartbeats, which is why I like it. So essentially what it is, it's a fund management service. Resolver is their main product, okay? the flagship and it's actually over 30 billion now what they've got in using this as assets going through it and it's going to come on to at the end of this video why it's quite important that they've got people going through this because it's a big factor in their burning structure but essentially when you read through the white paper estimates show a roughly a 32 percent increase in margin in terms of profits because of them using this system that is automatically reducing costs for business and we know with recessions and stuff that possibly could be happening people change their habits and spending habits in business is a big thing even normal people in say for example me in the uk right if i'm a bit reducing my money because there's not much going around or i'm not making as much i will change my habits it's the same in business if they've got huge profit kind of losses because they're doing a pr process that they've got to do, spend management, they're going to try and wiggle that to reduce their costs. So that's why it's really important in this sector because everyone wants to save as much money as they can to be you know, efficient in business. This is why I like it. So other things that they have. They have obviously spend management, they have freelancing, ICO and STO assurance, they have blockchain funds, business acceleration and custom solutions. So they do a range of different products. Obviously Resolver, I mentioned it. Match BX is freelance, it's like Fiverr, pretty cool. And it uses the token on that as well. Coin BX is like a platform to enable business, which is pretty cool. But there's other things as well, business acceleration, blockchain funds and software development. These are other key elements, but they've also released something quite new. And I'm going to go through that in a second. But let's just go through this website. This, the key benefits essentially, obviously, removal of humans. Sorry, guys, but we're not needed. We know that. But, you know, all the kind of elements that are cost effective due to people having to do them, there's no longer a need for them. OK, this system is on a blockchain. It's pretty much done for you. And that's why the costs are lower. OK, obviously, I'm only going through this in a snapshot, but you can kind of get the picture. If you read through the white paper, if you check out the demo, you can play with it. You can actually have a good little fun with it. And obviously, the team are really, really hands on. If you go in the Telegram group, just shout for Matt, shout for Joaquin, shout for anyone in there. You will find them because they're always there. They're pretty good. Now, white paper, 
check it out. I'm going to go through the one page in a bit. I'm not going to go through anything else because I do, honestly, this is YouTube. I know it should be a cat running across my screen. It will bore you. But if you are genuinely dig this sort of stuff, check out there what, you know, check it all out because honestly, you'll find a lot of information here and you'll find a lot of interesting case studies of where I believe the world will probably go in the next coming years. And I think Expire are probably the leaders. They're, they're there, they're already there. And you can see it with the token side of it. Now, in terms of how to buy it, Binance Chain, Qcoin, I don't recommend the other two, sorry. But ultimately, these two. Binance is really, really good. It's a gateway, hopefully, into Binance US. These guys are American based, okay? They're in New York City. So hopefully, not to try and create any hype, but having it on the decks is a real good insight for what's coming in Binance in the next coming month. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that is a nice gateway. But that is me thinking as an investor. Partnerships, Microsoft Partner Network, R3. You've probably heard of R3 due to XRP. You've obviously got the likes of Bitcoin.com, Family Office Club, Digital Asset. Oh, is honestly, there's a ridiculous amount of partnerships that they've got that are really, really genuinely good and in this space and they've been in this space for a long time. And you've also got the team. These, This team, essentially, have been working together for a long time. LSG, essentially, a company that they've used in the past, and it's kind of their company and they've built onto their structure of their company using Expire. Basically, a hedge fund management firm went, I want to use this on a blockchain, can you do it for us? They said, yes, this is how Expire was made. They've been around since 2003. A long, long time when you think about it in business. So really, really good to see. And they've obviously got a really good advisory board. Roger Ver, Mate Toki, as examples, are pretty big in the blockchain space. You've obviously got Shingo Levine, Ethos. You know, these are big people who have been in, a, in and around the space and built companies in the space for a long time. So they're really, really good advisory board. Again, do further research, check them out. But in terms of other partnerships that they've used, this is with their other company, obviously, but they've worked with some absolute big hitters in business. So it's absolutely pivotal that they've got that experience and they do have that experience. So it's great to see. And in terms of roadmap, lots happening. Match BX, more stuff is coming, and obviously, you know, it's mainly going to be Match BX over the next coming months, but ultimately, that is a great place to get your fees burnt to crisp by using it. And obviously, the this I'm going to talk about now. So, quickly go over the light paper because I like light paper, so it's pretty and it's got pictures on it. But I want to talk about this in a minute. I've got a load of screenshots of this I want to share with you. It's pretty cool. Basically, what this is, this is a lazy way of spending money. I love it. Right, I'm a lazy person, sorry. It's one of those things. This, you can create a debit card on your phone. <laughs> it's great. So you can literally, you don't have to have the thing, you don't have to have any, I've, I've not got a card, sorry. But ultimately, you put it on your card. Uh, make a card, sorry, put it on your phone, you can use it as a, a way of spending online. Easy. So if you wanna like hide a bit of money somewhere, because why not, you know. I've got a girlfriend downstairs who's pestering me to buy her stuff, i.e. sparkly stuff. I'm gonna just, you no. Know, but if I do, I'll probably hide it so she doesn't know. Ah, see. So you can use this. I want to go through the screenshots in a minute. But again, MatchBX is the online freelance platform. 100% of the fees are burnt for that, which is pretty cool. Resolver, 30 billion. I knew that. I saw that figure before. I knew it was right. Um, and ultimately, that will get bigger as more companies use it. So a big, massive, you know, clout of the, the fees will be burnt for more people using it. And you've obviously got Blyla, which is a vending billing app which is pretty cool as well this is pretty awesome these are the kind of the new stuff that they're doing and this is kind of really really key and this is why if i go over this in full detail i will blow your mind in like a 30 odd hour video be crazy but ultimately they're doing so much and they're so active in the space which is great to see when you consider what the altcoin market looks like it's pretty bearish we know but again there's a lot of things happening so i'm going to go over this so this is kind of it it's really really straightforward I'll go to the start because um, why not? Let's press the reset button. Yeah, cool. Now there it is. It's pretty cool. Obviously the fonts. Add new card settings. Cool. You know, it's really really simple. And this is essentially going through the process of it. You know, it's really really easy. You've obviously got your own little you know little liquid a a APIs in that. But this is really really straightforward. You can literally create a crypto based funding card to spend online. So if I wanted to buy a laptop and I didn't want to go from a bank, you know, I'd just do it that way. Why not? 
Easy, man. So there you go. It's easy. Look at it. It's cool. I like this. I think it's a cool. cool idea. Very, very simple, effective, and it's just another little side arm to the business of awareness, which is good. Too many blockchain companies are just one-dimensional. They're just like, there. Blockchain. Right, cool. This, you've got physical usage. You've got the Match BX freelance platform. I like to go on Fiverr a lot. I like to see what is happening. When Match BX is pretty big, I will most likely use that because why not? Then you've obviously got Pay BX. You've obviously got um, you know Coin BX as well, where people will be using it as business solutions to take payment, to receive payment. You know all that kind of stuff. It makes sense having more stuff out there. So in terms of this, this is a bit that gets me more excited. The token element. It has a token that has a genuine use case, which is kind of really rare to find these days. There's a few coins out there that have little burning structures where the more they use, the more they burn. But this has it on different levels. This has a fee token and burn. This is similar to the Binance model, which is probably one of the most effective in terms of a use case of a coin. Binance, we know it will get lower and lower as more people use a Binance platform or the Binance products. This is the same thing. The more people that use expire and no expire, the less tokens will be, well, the more tokens, sorry, will be burnt and the less tokens will be there longer term, which is good for spend control. They've got a huddle program where you can go in and put it into an incentivized platform where you can get more expire for holding on for it for a longer time. And they've obviously got, you know, the expire blockchain community, the ABC. Now, if I just scroll down a little bit here, this is pretty simple. Resolver, 5% of your fees burn essentially, which is pretty cool. You've got, you know, the second product again, 5%. Match BX, though, is 100% and pay BX is 10%. So there's a lot of fees that could be burnt off. And it will not surprise me if, like, a couple hundred thousand every week in the future will be coming off. Now, obviously, they'll have to change that as the token price goes up, okay? Because, you know, you can't just go, oh, we're going to do, you know, a ton of you know what I mean the difference is it's all percentages which is good so the more price that this you know the token is the less tokens will be obviously burnt but ultimately the worth more but again it's all got a value in terms of spending so that kind of is pretty awesome now you can see here um healthgate is one of their you know elements that they've got using the platform representing 20,000 per week 200,000 expire at the beginning of each month in total, roughly that. That's it as it stands. So 260,000 expire tokens are burnt every month for just using their platforms and products, which is absolutely, you know, I would rather every token that is using blockchains have this sort of structure, but they don't. I don't know why they don't have it. They just have it as some sort of way of making money. But this is sense it's an economical model that no matter how bad the market is this will function which makes absolute sense it does doesn't it and finally you can see the burns see the burn baby so there you go that's what they've got so far that's the latest burn and the original supply so you know it's coming down this will come down total supply or the circulating supply even i do apologize is coming down and just to finally end on this, let's look at the current price. So here we are. These are price. Now, I do apologize. The price looks terrible today. But that's because Bitcoin is on a massive hoo-ha down. We've lost $30 billion in the market. So obviously, alts are going to get hit. But it's been coming up recently. Over the last few weeks, it's been doing quite a good little run. It's peaked up here. It's coming down. But most importantly, the supplies. Look at them. They're pretty low, they're not massively inflated, they're not stupid. The market capitalization of the company is pretty big, but the volume is not too bad at the minute either. You know, there's a decent amount of volume going through Qcoin and through um, Binance Dex. That's why I only recommend it. I don't even bother touching the other ones. There's no point at all. But make it clear to you this total supply will come down. That's good for long term investment because you don't want to have a stack of tokens just sitting there gathering dust because there's less going to go into circulating supply, which means more for price action when the market does genuinely pick up. So there you go. That is Expire. If you want to check out anything about them, 
just check out their website go in the telegram room and ask questions because they are good guys and there's a lot of people in there who will more than happily help you this is one of the best communities i've ever seen in the crypto space i'm not saying that because i'm an investor i'm saying that because genuine people have researched this project they've not had youtubers shill it to pieces they've genuinely thought about their business and they're going the nice and slow way they're progressively getting better and bigger with their products and that will obviously you know reward them over time with their token model so there you go that's expire hope you enjoy it more things from me in the future with expire hopefully some interviews hopefully some competitions as well just to kind of give you a little bit of a word of warning so yeah Hope you enjoyed it.